This might have the look of braised beef, but it's not. It's the best pork in the world, and it is amazing. Hey everybody, Johan Magnuson here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're making braised Iberico Coppa from Campo Grande. So we got a great Iberico Coppa here, so let's open the package and see what it looks like. The only thing we're gonna do to the Coppa is trim off some of the excess fat, and then look at this, the intramuscular marbling is amazing. We're gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, so we're using our Big Sweet Barbecue Badass Texas Burst. We also want to peel and slice two carrots, and we also want to dice up a yellow onion. All the ingredients are now ready, so let's start cooking the braised Iberico Coppa. We're gonna place our pan on the stovetop and set the temperature to medium high. We're gonna add three to four tablespoons of olive oil. Then we want to brown the coppa on all sides. And just listen to that sizzle. When done, you can set it aside. Now we wanna add both the carrots and the onions to the pan. You also wanna add three to four tablespoons of minced garlic. And cook for a couple of minutes until the onion turns translucent. Then we're gonna open up a nice bottle of Rioja. Pour yourself one glass and then we're gonna add the rest to the pan. You wanna bring this up to a boil, and then we're gonna add one cup of pork broth. Now we're gonna place the Iberico Coppa in the pan. We're gonna add a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme and rosemary. We wanna cover it with the lid and lower the temperature to low medium. And now we're gonna slowly simmer this for two to three hours. After about an hour, hour and a half, we want to turn the coppa over. Then we're going to cook it till the Iberico coppa reaches an inner temperature of 205 degrees. We want to reduce the liquid until it thickens. Then we can remove the pan from the stove top. Let the coppa rest for a couple of minutes. Then you can start pulling it and look how tender this coppa is. And after that, it's ready to serve. And that is how I make my braised Iberico coppa. And I think the only thing left for me to do is to try this. And trust me, it just smells amazing in the kitchen. So here we go. Let's get a little bit of carrot on that as well. And here we go. Mm. So rich, so flavorful. I really hope you try this at home. Happy grilling. Yeah. Oh, yeah.